look at our example number 8. Ayan. V over 25 plus 10x is equal to negative x squared. Okay. So, what are we going to do first in here is to transform this into the standard form. We are going to write this equation into a standard form first before we identify if it is quadratic or not quadratic. Okay? So, as you can see, parang kompleto naman dito yung, yung uh, mga terms na mayroon kay quadratic, no? So, may idea na tayo na this is a quadratic. Right? Kasi mayroon siyang degree of 2. Okay, now, let us write this into a standard form. Siyempre, kapag ka magsusulat lang tayo ng ganito into standard form, palagi nyo tatandaan na ang una nyong isipin is to transpose. Ito transpose natin, no? Kapag ganyan lang siya. Okay? Since itong negative x squared, dapat nandito siya eh, sa kabila. ba? Yan na, as you can see ito. So, dapat nandito siya sa kabila. Tama? So, ililipat natin siya dito sa kabila. Kung ito ay negative dito, and dahil nga ililipat natin siya, siya ay magiging positive dito sa kabila ng equal, ba? Magiging positive siya. Sabihin na natin yan yung equal. Ililipat kasi natin siya dito. So, siya ay magiging x squared na lang. Tama? And then, si 25 tsaka si 10x, ito is the linear term and si 25 is the constant term. As you can see, nandito na siya sa tamang places. Okay? Pero, nauna, si constant term. Dapat si uh, linear term. Tama? So, therefore, ilalangin natin dito si linear term. 10x, kasi positive siya doon. Si 25 is positive dito. Positive pa rin siya. Bakit? Kasi hindi naman natin sila inilipat. Ibinaba lang natin. So, hindi tayo mag-iiba ng sign. Okay? Kapag ka, ibinaba nyo lang. And then, that is equal to zero. Okay? And then, ito na. Kamukha na ba siya? May standard form? Yes, of course. Kasi we have x squared plus 10x plus 25. Right? Now, let us look for the value of a. Ayan, B, and C. So, di ba automatic may 1 to? Tama, kasi mayroong variable. No? So, A is equal to 1. Okay, palagi nyo lang tatandaan. Si B, dahil si B ay 10x, therefore, si B is 10. Ang value ni B. Si C, dahil ang constant term natin is 25, therefore, C is equal to 25. Ganun lang siya, kasimple. Okay, now take a look at our example number 9. We have here 2x times x minus 1 is equal to 4. So, kung napapansin nyo, parang medyo kumakomplikado. <laughs> medyo pinapahirapan tayo ni Ma'am Char. So, hindi ko kayo pinapahirapan, okay? Madali lang to and makinig lang kayo para malaman nyo din kung ano talaga yung pinaka-process, okay? So, ito, what are we going to do in here is to equate it to 0, tama? And we are going to identify if it is a quadratic or not. But first, kailangan i-transfer muna natin ito into a standard form. Okay? How are we going to do that? So, as you can see, meron tayong 2x na nandito sa uh, sa labas ni parenthesis, x minus 1. So, dito gagamit ka ng distributive property of equality. Distributive. When we say distributive, i-distribute mo lang si 2x kay x and negative 1. And when we say i-distribute, that is multiplication. Okay? So, si 2x, i-multiply mo siya kay x. So, 2x times x, that is 2x raised to 2. Okay? Hindi pa tapos. Si 2x, i-distribute mo naman siya kay negative 1. Kasi dalawa yung term na nandun eh. So, 2x times negative 1, that is negative 2x. Okay? Ganun lang siya kasimple. So, okay ka na dito. So, nakita mo, meron tayong constant term. ba? And siya ay nasa kabila. So, what are we going to do is to transpose that dito para maging kasama na siya dun. Loner kasi siya dun eh. Nag-iisa lang siya. ba? So, dahil nga dito ay positive siya, dito kapag nilipat mo siya sa kabila ng equal, magiging negative siya. So, we have negative 4. Equal to, dahil wala nang natira dun, 0 na lang. And then, kamukha na ba siya ng standard form? Of course, yes. Now, is this a quadratic or not? Of course, this is a quadratic equation as well. Okay? So now, look for the value of A, B, and C. So, ang value ng ating A is, of course, ito. Coefficient ni x squared. That is 2. Ang value naman ng ating B, of course, negative 2. Kasi coefficient siya ni x. 
tama, negative 2. And then, ang value ni C is of course, negative 4. Kasi siya yung ating constant. So, palagi nyo tatandaan ha, na isasama nyo pa din yung pinaka-sign or operation na nandyan. Kasi sila ay parang magiging pinaka-sign ng uh, constant or ng coefficient. Okay? So, yan. Ito na. Ito pwede na kasi medyo mainit. Eh, wait lang. After break lang muna tayo. Kanina pa tayo nagsasalita. Wait lang. Guys, recommended. Ayan, this is a 2 liter uh, water for bottle and maganda siya. Yan. Kapag nangawa ka, yan. <laughs> Nag-endorse pa nga. Okay, okay. Sige, tapusin na natin to. Alright. So, take a look at our example number 10. We have here x minus 2 times x plus 1. So, kung nakikita nyo, meron tayo diyang dalawang binomial. Okay? And, what are we going to do to transfer this or to write this into a standard form is to use the FOIL method or simply just multiply this to this using distributive property of equality. And, kapag naman kasi gagamit tayo ng distributive property of equality, sa ganitong equation or sa ganitong itsura parang na din tayong gumagamit ng foil method or first outer inner last kasi di ba etong si x ayan ita times mo siya kay x that is first right so x times x that is x squared and then itong x of course ita times mo pa rin siya doon sa padalawa okay so x times 1 that is positive x Okay? And then, dito ka naman, dahil wala ka nang ita times dito, dito sa pangalawang equation, kay negative 2 ka naman. Si negative 2, ita times mo naman din siya kay x. So, negative 2 times x, that is negative 2x. Okay? So, may naiwan pa tayo, hindi pa natin sila multiply Negative 2 times 1. That is negative 2. Okay? And then, mag-equate na tayo ng zero. Then, right after that, just combine the like terms or yung magkakatulad na terms. So, we have here x squared plus x minus 2, x minus 2. And as you can see, si x squared ay wala namang ka-like terms dito. So, ibababa na natin siya. Si x at si negative 2x, they are like terms kasi parehas sila ng variable. Diba? So, we are going to operate this or we are going to um, combine this. So, x minus 2x, subtract kasi minus to, or negative, sit negative 2x. So, we have x minus 2x, automatic, palagi ha, may 1, ang variable na walang kasamang number, yan ay may 1. So, we have 1 minus 2. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Therefore, negative, x na lang siya. Kasi, wag nyo kakalimutan si x. Ay, sorry, kalimutan nyo na pala si x. Ay, joke. Eto, wag nyo to kalimutan. Okay? And then, si negative 2, of course, ibababa na natin yan kasi wala na naman ditong constant term. So, we have 0. Okay? And as you can see, x squared minus x minus 2 is already in the standard form. And this is, of course, a quadratic equation. Tama? Kasi meron tayong degree of 2. Okay? And then, look for the value of a, b, and c. So, alam nyo na, ang A natin is 1. Ayan, itong nandito. So, 1 yan. Si B natin is dahil wala naman itong kasama din na value, si 1 pa din yan. Negative 1. Bakit negative 1? Kasi minus 2. Tama, minus X, that is negative 1. And then, our C or constant term is negative 2. Ayan, negative 2. Okay, so dahil dyan, alam nyo na yung gagawin kapag nakakita kayo ng ganitong equation. Okay, depende kung eto ba ay nasa um, illustrations of quadratic equation. Depende pa rin sa lesson. Okay? Pero, gantong-ganto lang pagsosolve ng mga ganitong klaseng equation. Meron pa tayong last example. Huwag mo na kayong malis, ha? Okay, so for the last example ng first one, <laughs> medyo pagod na tayo magsalita. Kasi number 11 na tayo, but it's okay. Para naman to sa inyo. So, we have our example number 11. We have where x minus 1 times x plus 2 is equal to x times x plus 5. Ayan. So, medyo mahaba. Pero, huwag kayo matakot, no? Madali lang to. Ituturo ko naman sa inyo. Okay? So, listen carefully. So, ito, alam nyo na kung paano solve kasi nandun na siya sa number 10 natin. And itong si x times x plus 5, naturo ko na din to kanina. 
So, palagi nyo tatandaan na we're just going to use distributive property. And we are just going to simplify this kind of equation, okay? For us to identify if this is quadratic or not. Alright? And then, we have here x minus 1. And isa pa nga pala, bago ko pala to simulan, palagi nyo tatandaan na ang hinahanapan lang natin ng a, b, and c is a quadratic equation. Kapag hindi siya na quadratic, hindi na natin kailangan siyang hanapan ng value ng a, b, and c. Okay? So, dito, distributive pa din, gagamitin natin. Ayan, simulan na natin dito kay x. x times x, that is x squared. Ayan. x times 2, okay? 2x, that is positive 2x kasi plus yan. And then, dito ka naman kay negative 1. Ito, negative 1 times x, that is negative x. Okay? Negative 1 times 2, that is negative 2. Okay, di ba? And then dito, distribute lang din. So, si x, i-distribute mo muna kay x. x times x, that is x squared. Then, si x, i-distribute mo naman siya kay 5. x times 5, that is 5x or positive 5x. Okay. And then, you're just going to simplify. How are we going to simplify? We are going to combine the like terms. So, dito, okay na to kasi wala namang magkapareha sa kanila. So, dito naman, Meron ditong like terms, itong si 2x at si negative x. Okay? So, ano ba kapag sinabing like terms? Ito yung mga terms na um, parehas ng variable, parehas ng degree, and parehas, for example, 2 and 3. They are like terms kasi parehas silang constant. Okay? Itong si 2x at si negative x, like terms sila kasi ang kanilang exponent ay parehas 1. So, itong x squared, wala siyang ka-like term. To simplify, babalang lang natin si x squared. 2x minus x, of course, that is 2 minus 1. Tama? So, that is plus, x na lang matitira kasi 2 minus 1 is 1. Di ba? Hindi na natin sinusulat si 1. So, ilalagay mo na lang yung variable na mayroon sa kanila. Okay? And then, kopya na lang si negative 2. And then, right after that, ayan na, mayroon na tayong x squared plus 5x. Okay? And then, Siyempre, di ba dapat i-equate natin siya to zero? Dapat palaging zero yung nandun sa kabila ng equal. So, itong mga to, ililipat natin siya dito. Isasama natin sila. So, kopya lang natin itong x squared. May collect term ba to sa kabila? Of course, yes. Si x squared din, di ba? So, si x squared dito ay positive. Ililipat natin siya dito, magiging negative. Very good. So, negative x squared. And then, kopya na lang si plus x. Si x. Yan. May collect term ba siya sa kabila? Of course, meron. Itong si 5x. ba Kasi parehas silang x ang kanilang variable. Or exponent na 1. Tama? So, si 5x, ililipat natin dito. And siya ay positive doon. Magiging negative siya dito. Tama? So, negative 5x. Yan. And then, okay na siya. Wala na tayong kailangan doon. Ibaba na lang natin itong natitirang negative 2. Yan. Minus 2 equal to 0. Okay? And then now, x squared minus x squared, diba yan ay 1 minus 1? 1 minus 1 is 0. Therefore, cancel na sila. So, wala na tayong kailangan pa sa kanila. Diba? Cancel na. Wala na sila. 0 na. And then, x minus 5x, that is negative 4x minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay? So, as you can see, Wala na tayong merong uh, degree na 2 dito sa equation na nakuha natin. Yan. Negative 4x minus 2. Therefore, this equation is not quadratic. ba? Hindi siya quadratic. So, hindi natin siya hanapan ng A, B, or C. Okay, ganun lang siya kasimple. Okay, so that is all for this video. Thank you so much everyone for watching. And I hope na may natutunan kayo sa akin ngayon dito sa ating pinag-aralan na pang grade 9 and lesson 1 ng quarter 1. Okay? So, kung nagustuhan mo yung video na to, please huwag mo kalimutan i-subscribe, i-like to video, and i-hit mo na din yung notification bell down below para naman palagi kang updated sa mga bago kong ina-upload dito sa YouTube. Of course, huwag nyo itong kalimutang i-share sa inyong mga friends, classmate, and kapamilya. Ayan. Para naman matuto din sila kung paano ba ang quadratic equations or how are we going to illustrate 
our quadratic equation. So thank you so much everyone and always remember to make your day productive by gaining knowledge. Again, this is Mima Mariel and see you on my next video. God bless everyone.